Everybody, meet Ratboy. He is a cannibal. He is also incestuous. My chancellor has a zero in diplomacy. He's the worst you could possibly be. Behead or behead and devour. You know I am clicking behead and devour. Fantastic. All right, now back to the wedding. Your daughter, she is in heaven. Hand me the bundle. I am a comfort eater. Mere Botolf of Castro Valari. I will murder him. We did it. Such a tragedy. Now, who was that guy I killed? And why did I do it? Perfect, wonderful rat boy. Okay. God damn it. Me and this lady are just not meant to be together. Okay, we got another premature birth. My wife, Countess Adilla, assures me it is the way of life, but her hand lingers on her belly. Hmm. She's hungry. That's right, boy, understanding just those cues. Ah, uh, hungry. Yes. Tummy. Stomach. Makes you think of it. The smell, the smell, the feel, the context. Yes, we all think of it. We all want it. I have 404 soldiers. I have $84 to my name. And... It's kidnapping time. Fantastic. Let's find someone who we can ransom. God damn it, why is kidnapping so hard? Count Jeffroy. 5%? God damn it. 5% just captured Duke Robert as well. And let me guess. 5%. God damn. Doing this is hard. What if I try and capture, like, okay, what if I try and take his kid? 55%. Now, this is looking a little bit nicer. If scheme is successful, he becomes my prisoner. However, I will be exposed for the crime of kidnapping. Okay. Hmm. Bring me him. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe route to transport Robert out of Count Jeffroy's castle. A detailed map of the local plains with all its hidden paths and caves would be an invaluable resource. Oh, these are all going to stress me out because I'm paranoid. Holy shit. I will gain 120 stress if I explore the plains myself because I'm craven and impatient. I can pay a hunter to draw a map. Yep, let's go. Fuck, he told everybody. Confused heritage. For days I've been obsessing over the Conversano lineage and now I am certain. There is no way Count Jeffrey can conclusively prove the fatherhood of his son and heir, Robert. Where there is a lack of evidence, evidence can be planted. It is time for me to write a new truth for Robert's origin. <gasps> and I will have the starring role. Intrigue challenge against, uh, challenge against Count Jeffroy. A hundred percent chance that I will be able to reveal Robert as my bastard. Wait, is this the kid I'm trying to fucking kidnap? It is! I am his father, and I was only trying to return him to his rightful home. The dates, the journeys, the potential for secret meetings, it is all there. And with the rumors I have planted, even Count Jeffroy is feeling some doubt over the fatherhood of Robert. It is only a matter of time before someone draws the conclusion that I am a likely candidate. <gasps> Come to Papa, Robert. I have exposed the Countess Theodora conceived Robert with Guimar. What? It was me. You were too impatient and his actual bastard father was revealed? Oh, come on! To my cowardly vassal, I have come to the inexorable conclusion that you truly are the best candidate I have for my open council position. Though it pains me to do so, I am unfortunately obligated to offer you the position of Chancellor of Apulia. Mm. Oh, big promotion coming across. For rat boy. It seems that Count Robert is tightening security at court, hoping to track down traitorous schemers. My fellow plotter, Sicklegeiter, is concerned that she might have attracted some unwanted suspicion. 44% chance she's undetected. 55% chance she's discovered. Ooh, I don't like those odds. Roll the dice. And she's discovered. Fuck. God damn it. Okay, well, Count Robert of Bari has discovered that I am the mastermind behind the plot to abduct him. There must have been a misunderstanding. Well, the boy has to go. And oh my god, the Marshal and the Duchess actually like me. The Spy Master, too.
That is your leisure's counsel and their opinion of him, not of you. Okay, let's check their opinion of me. Okay, she hates me. Count Roger is in jail? How'd that happen? Oh. War. Uh, not for me. 55% chance to kidnap Matilda de Hortville. My liege lost their war with Duchess Matilda. Hey, at least one Matilda's gonna go down today, okay? Don't you worry, sir. I've got your back. And you know what? I think... The time may have come to claim Cosenza for ourselves. My son and heir! Torf? Fuck me, they nailed this one right out the gate. I think I Torf is perfect. This is little Torf to the Redentus. Everybody, welcome Torf! My agents tell me that Matilde is planning to travel from Messina to Cosenza. I've arranged for some brigands to interrupt her little journey and make sure she arrives here instead. Soon, she will be at my mercy. 55% chance of her becoming my prisoner. She has escaped my hired bandits and safely made her way back to Messina. Disastrously, one of the brigands was later captured and confessed to everything, including my involvement. Fuck. Her luck will, her luck will not last. Time to try again. All right, back again, everybody. Places, bandits, and let's try not to fuck it up this time. All right. Hey, what's Torf's face look like? Torf looks like this. So, I mean, not... Great. Richard is fiddling nervously with his sleeve as I open the door to my chambers. What is he doing here at this hour? My deepest apologies, but I must speak with you in private. I've discovered something very interesting. Uh, interesting. Hmm. So you say that- oh, sorry. I'm just wiping little bits of Torf. Did you eat Torf though, or just execute him? I ate him. I chopped off my son's head and I ate him. Hey, uh, I just tried to do a please like and subscribe thing. And everybody hated it. So please do like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, loser? <laughs> okay, don't take it the chat off screen. Someone's paying me to say that subscribing is a good... Tom Walker's a... God damn it! Why do I... Click the buttons. All right? I need more subscribers so I don't go insane. How's my... Attempts to get my wife to like me going? She really doesn't like me. Okay, she doesn't like that I'm a cannibal or incestuous or a kinslayer and cowardly. She also is sitting at minus 50 for unlawfully executing family. Wait, what is this? Greetings, Count Ratboy of Kamada. It is my duty to inform you that irrefutable evidence has been unveiled proving that your marriage with the Countess Adila is consanguineous in nature. This information will stay between the two of us if you end this unholy union at once. It's been incestuous this whole time? That's great news for him. That's the thing he likes to do! I'm just gonna go ahead and... Prove the claim is fake. Fantastic. Countess Dillard is not swayed. Hmm, interesting. She'll come around. Eat the priest. I can expose his secret that he's a non-believer. I have been sent a woodcarving of a miniature castle. Every guest that comes by admires the detail and craftsmanship on display. While the gift was anonymous, Countess Adilla has gone to great lengths to make sure that I would figure out that she was behind it. My sister wife gave me a toy! What an unusual thing. Thank you, sweet incestuous loathing sister wife. Kanagunda has joined me as an agent in my scheme to abduct Countess Matilde. Oh god, yeah, that is happening. 15% chance of abducting Countess Matilde. Alright, let's go. Fuck! And, okay, fine, 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 whatever. All right, let's see. I can declare war on Countess Flandine. Their military strength is inferior to ours. I will have the County of Casenza. Wait. Yes. Perfect. Abduct, then declare war. Yes. They just have to wait there. They can only 
protect that place. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this out and see if I can just kidnap her. Aha! 5% chance of Countess Flandine becomes my prisoner? God damn it. Yeah, obviously she's fucking... All right, well, let's just crush her then. I think going to war made it much harder to kidnap her. Sure seems like it, yeah. Well, fair enough. Are we winning? Good lord, it's going to be close. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, no, we're going to lose. My courtier Orson was taken prisoner by Countess Flandine. How the fuck did she win that? Ah, oh, fuck. Orson has been wounded and his flesh has contracted foulness and swelling. Well, nothing that can be done. Don't need Orson. I'm not going to eat him. He's rotten. A new flame. Over the years, I've received a great deal of portraits from various noble women, both foreign and local. Until now, they have mostly gathered dust in some attic. Perhaps I should bring them out and select my next romantic pursuit. Now, the last time I did this, there was a naked lady right off the bat. I can picture myself with someone new. She urges me to write back, but only if you exceed a height of six feet. Thank Christ. Okay, I think that Dr. Sermon God... I mean, all these women are going to hate me. None of these women want to fucking... want anything to do with me. This portrait is none other than Countess Zenobia. What? How would she possibly have sent me a portrait? She hates me. She's said to be sensible, but I've also heard rumors about her vile nature. Favorite, super like. In her portrait, Countess Jalanta, the wife of Count Marian of Stezica, is posing with an adorable little dog. No, no. Another height queen. Oh, everyone hates poor incestuous cannibal rat boy. This is exhausting, but strangely addictive. Now that I've made some of my selection, I can bring out my quill and write some pretty verses. Ooh. Hmm. Her husband likes me, honestly, some of the most that I've seen this playthrough. Brave, honest, and calm. I don't know that her and I would get along super well. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try and send it out to all of them at once. To the saucy Count Ratboy. Your luscious lips are like a burning stick. I wish only to hear your voice again, that I may know if your prowess carries off the battlefield. Stop resisting, you will be mine. Yeah, I'd say I'm better at sex than I am at war. Your ankles are like pretty nice pebbles. I wish only to hear your voice again that I may know the depths of your love. I am twice as pretty as your beguiling wife. Excellent! 25% chance I could murder Countess Flandine. Your tall, unfired brow is what gives meaning to my life. My heart yearns to hear your voice again that I made true joy. You put Apollo to shame. Is Apollo some sort of rat? Oh, my, my courtier Orson has been wounded and his flesh has contracted foulness and death. The blackness is spreading over his skin and only God knows if he will make it. Oh, boy. Well, he sure is in prison. Yep, and he's gangrenous. That sucks, man. Wherever I go, my wife, Countess Adilla, is sure to follow. That look on her eyes, the words on her lips. I know exactly what she is after. I will keep her close, very close. I lay with Countess Adilla. I lose 25 stress because I'm lustful and she might become my lover or a distraction for tonight, but nothing more. I could become my, my wife's lover. As Countess Adela draws close, I do not know whether to tear the clothes from her body or punch the impatient smile off her face. Good lord! Come on, dude. I kiss her, a challenge, and she drags me closer, a fitting repast. The warring feelings in my chest are echoed by our bodies. We spend the night delivering both insult and bliss onto each other. Oh, they're hate fucking. The man in charge of cleaning the clothes of Countess Flandine's guards is brought to me. No one will notice him tampering with their clothes, and if something distracting for the guards could be planted. What would you have of me, my lord? I want you to grind rose hips really fine. Or cut holes in their clothes in improper areas. Okay. So I could either have the guards dick and balls swing about, or I can grind rose hips really fine, and that'll advance the murder scheme. Great. Kosamu is preparing a special trip for young Countess Flandine. The child trusts you will be brought on an enjoyable day in the forest. Flandine will unfortunately get lost and be impossible to find before nightfall. Oh, she was so young, too. A child lost in the forest. It happens tragically often. 41% chance of success. Murdering a child? Are you certain about this? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. She escaped! 
done harmed? Well, what if I kidnap her betrothed? 15% success. No. Crap. New baby? Oh, uh... Hey, look, everybody. Look who's back. Torf's back. Okay. Oh, he, he was sleepy. He, he's back now. Torf is... Torf is here. Torf. The second dwarf. The second dwarf is here, okay? So you all stop being mad at me and wife can wife can like me. Ah, oh, fuck. We're going to lose this fucking battle. Oh, just getting creamed. Ah, oh, no. My boys, my men. Alderit has died of old age and I have a new suffragan bishop. Okay, so all that work that I put into making the bishop like me is gone because this guy fucking hates me. My sunshine, this just isn't working anymore. My lover, Countess Adila, pulls away from me. The dwindling spark to between us, and to think you would work murder, it's all too much. But you like me more than you ever have. Remember all the good times, my love. You're at minus 52. That could, that could easily get up to the low 40s. Oh, fuck, they found me again. They're just going to chase my poor army around the map as I just die over and over. Okay, the, the war has to be abandoned at this point. Uh, you know what? All the best to you. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, give you a surrender. 68 bucks? 68 fucking dollars to lose this war? And I can't murder her. Please just stay home. Don't continue on. You're going to... Okay, you're fleeing into the... Far into their territory, shithead. Looking back, maybe making my character so universally despised was a bit of a bad idea. I am in debt.